So here I start off with some black. All my acrylics are mixed one part water, one part paint, one part Floetrol, and a little bit of dish soap for the cells. Here I'm pouring the purple over the black, some white, and I'm doing this just randomly. There's no real plan for it. So I'm adding a little red, just randomly mixing colors. And I want to mention too, when I use the dish soap, I use that because when if you add silicone, silicone never really dries. So I use dish soap. You can paint over the top of dish soap or you can wipe your painting when it's dry with a warm rag to any, get any excess off. Some white, some baby blue, just random. Just moving the canvas around different directions, getting a feel for where I want the black. The black is the outer space. The colors are supposed to be the nebula. Sometimes I add more black because I need more black for outer space. So it's not all just colored. Just tilting it. I'm adding glitter. This is resin glitter. You can get it on Amazon. It's super fine. There's tons of different colors. You put it over the wet paint. When it dries, it gives a nice sparkle to the canvas without overwhelming it. Just randomly spreading it all over the place. So you can see as I hold it up to the, next to the light, it gives a little sparkle to the painting. It gives some interest to it. I like it. So here's the dried painting. I used a circle cutter to cut out some watercolor paper and repositional adhesive to put on the back. Use some airbrush white and highlight the planet. I'll use white in the front and black in the back. Sometimes you can use a dark blue if you prefer. Some people don't like black. It really doesn't matter to me. So using a toothbrush for stars is a really good way of doing it because you can actually aim with it and put those stars exactly where you want it, unlike just splattering it with a paintbrush. This is more of a 
how would you say, like a direct hit kind of thing. So I always use a toothbrush. You can put a lot of paint in one spot or you can just go all around like I'm doing here. I'm trying to put more paint towards that center right because that's where I'm going to put the star. So here I'm using just some tape, painter's tape and I'm going to make a star with it. It makes perfectly straight lines. Now uh, you can use this with an airbrush or you can actually just take a paintbrush and run it through. It'll do the exact same thing. You don't necessarily need a paintbrush or airbrush, excuse me. <laughs> so you just run it up and down the lines where you want the line, let it dry and then peel the tape off. So I'm adding the tape horizontal now and then I'll airbrush it in another line. You can uh, use a paintbrush also, don't forget. So here I'm just airbrushing the center. You can use a paintbrush by feathering it in and watering down your paint a little, dry brushing. Adding stars, different areas of the canvas where I feel it needs, but the main center of attention is that bigger star. That's where the light from the planet is gonna hit. So this is a little circle stencil. I'm giving it a little circle around the star for a glow. Again, you can use a paintbrush for this. You don't need an airbrush. I use an airbrush to save time, make my videos a little quicker. But I can do it using a paintbrush. It would just be super long. So here I'm using some bright blue, no actually it's purple, sorry. And I'm going to shade the planet in with purple. You could do the same thing with a paintbrush by just watering down some purple paint and glazing over the top of your color. And it will give the same effect. It will make a transparent layer where you can see through. That's what you want, transparent layer. So I'm using it all over the white. So if you use a paintbrush, just water it down and just kind of glaze over the top of it real thin. You'll get the same effect. So the way I clean my airbrush, after i done using a color, I just spray a little water in there, spray the excess paint and water into a bucket, and that's it. On to the next color, really fast and quick. That's why I chose airbrush instead of hand painting. It's a lot faster for me. I like to keep my ideas flowing as I'm on the canvas. I'm really impatient like that. That's why I stopped oil painting because of the way it took so long for oil to dry in between, you know, colors and things. I like to paint really fast and put the ideas on canvas. So here I'm just highlighting the stars with some bright white. Gives it a little glow and that, that's pretty much it. 
you guys can ask me any questions just uh, comment and I'll try to get back to you as fast as possible and thanks for watching